Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing some deep cleaning motivation. Today I cleaned the kids' room, I did the carpets and vacuumed, took out all of the clothes out of their closet, went through them, see what fit and what didn't. Lots of cleaning motivation in today's video. It was a complete disaster, so stay tuned. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Hi guys, like I said, we're doing lots of cleaning motivation in today's video. My kids' room was an absolute disaster. They had spilled, first off, spilled applesauce all over the floor in here. The kids like to walk around with applesauce packets. I've learned my lesson, but I'm just shampooing out some of the applesauce out of the carpet here. And then I took all of the kids' clothes out of the dressers and out of all of the cubbies in the closet and all of the hanging clothes, most of them anyways, and I went through everything that fit and didn't fit, and you guys will see lots of Riker in the background today. I thought it was so funny, him like throwing stuff back and forth, but um, I got a good before shot for you guys here of the closet after I took most of the clothes out. It still is such a disaster. It was not organized whatsoever. I've been trying to perfect the organization in this closet for quite some time. I installed another rack, so there used to just be the one on the very top, and then after we had Riker, we installed another one and then put this cubby shelf inside of there as well. Uh, inside the closet is where I keep all of Riker's clothes just because he has less than Kaya and his clothes are smaller so they fit better in the cubbies. And then Kaya's clothes are all in the dresser which you guys will see here in a little bit. But just getting some organization done here. I keep all of the wipes and diapers in the closet and I do need to get a couple of bigger containers but you'll see here in a minute that I put the wipes into nice little baskets and Riker totally dumped them out a couple of times. But um, I need to get a couple of bigger baskets so that it looks a little nicer and then something to hold the diapers as well. But this is a good start. So I did something a little bit different in today's cleaning motivation video. I did some relaxing music for you guys. I do a lot of upbeat motivational music, stuff you can jam out to, but this one is a little bit different and I wanted to throw in some relaxing music for you because once in a while it's nice to switch it up. So I hope you guys enjoy some of the relaxing music that I have in today's video. Let's get out, we can leave this if you guys are interested in what music I listen to while I clean throughout the day, you guys can go ahead and check out my Spotify. I'll have it linked down below for you. Uh, some of my favorite lists on there are the Call Me and then the Work It lists. Um, sometimes I'm in the mood for country, so I'll play the country list as well. But that is what I'm doing on my phone here is I'm just playing a little bit of Spotify. So again, I'll have that link down below for you guys if you're interested in any of my personal playlists. It's 
not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Like I mentioned, I went through all of the kids' clothes and decided what I was going to keep for this fall and what fit them and what didn't fit them. There was quite a bit. Kaya gets a lot of um, hand-me-downs actually from my sister Bryn. My sister Bryn is nine years old, so she's only a few years older than Kai. And a lot of what Bryn is just growing out of is what Kaya's just getting into so it's really nice my mom buys a lot of clothes for my sister so we have lots and lots of clothes coming in also I just wanted to mention there's like a lot of clips of me in here where it looks like I'm picking my nose I promise I'm not um, I'm actually just adjusting my nose ring because as I'm like moving a ton it like almost falls out and then it starts to tickle my nose so if it looks like I'm picking at my nose I guess I technically am but I'm just like moving my nose ring Somehow we can't miss out oh, I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Be free Be free with me Even if I'm falling 
down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So I left this clip of Riker in the video because I thought it was so cute. I had just gotten done cleaning his two favorite blankies. I had to like hide them from him this morning and then I finally got them through the wash and he was so excited to see his blankies. I thought it was the cutest thing in the world. But anyway, so I finally got through all of the laundry. It's all clean um, and this is what it looks like cleaning with a toddler. He is in and out of everything. He wants lots of kisses and attention. He's just such a tornado, but we got through it. I was able to get all of the clothes put away and I still have a couple of like Christmas jammies that still fit him, but if they fit, whatever, it's fine. Sometimes we've got some cooler nights here and the fleece footy jammies are kind of nice, especially if the, like I said, if the house is a little bit colder, we have a colder night, the fleece footies are really nice. So anyway, I'm just putting away Riker's clothes into these cubbies, into these little bins, and then I will put the rest of Kaya's jammies and clothes away into the dresser. Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away For you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight Passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see
Look out, here she comes. So the Kids' is Clothes organization is not perfect by any means, but one of my favorite things that I do is I use these felt hangers. They just look so nice. The clothes hang so much nicer on these felt hangers. I get them from Amazon. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. I have navy blue, gray, and hot pink. I need to get some more hot pink because the gray and the blue are actually for Riker, and then the hot pink is for Kai. Um, and Kaya has so many clothes that she's now using some of the gray hangers as well. But definitely recommend those felt hangers because like I said, the clothes hang so much nicer and everything looks so neat and clean. Um, eventually, I would like to get like wooden hanging rods in here. Um, just something a little bit different. Maybe some more storage bins to make it cutesy. Um, we're working on it. I'm such a perfectionist. I have to kind of work through things a little by little um, to see how I like it first and then I'll add to it as I go. She won't be mine. I listen when she talks. I watch her when she walks. She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before. So because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions in regards to the wall and some of the decor here in the room, the wall was actually a DIY that we did. We have it over on our m, &M Rustics channel. If you guys are new here, we have a channel where we focus on our DIYs and furniture building, m, m Rustics. We have a side business where we build furniture, etc. So we have that DIY over on the m, m channel and I absolutely loved the way that this turned out. The whitewashing on the wood, you can still see the wood grain through all of the pieces and still see that variation. And I almost left it just stained because we did stain the pieces first and then we painted them. Um, but it was just too masculine for this room and now that it's whitewashed, I just absolutely love it. We just recently got the light fixture hung up as well, which I'll have linked down below for you guys. That is from World Market and is fairly inexpensive, but this boho farmhouse look came together so well in the kids' room. I did. 
So something that I like to do after I make the kids' beds is I love to use the Mrs. Meyers Room Spray. I just think that it freshens it up so much. I actually still have some of the peppermint left over from Christmas time and I just think it makes the bed smell so nice and clean. I will also spray this like on all of the upholstery like the curtains because that is where the scent will hold. Um, you guys know that in kids' rooms they get a little stinky between the diapers and the peeing through the jammies etc. No matter how many times you clean the sheets and the blankies and the toys there's still just like that kid smell so that's why I like to use a little bit of room spray just to kind of equal out out that kids smell if you will um, and make it smell a little bit more fresh and also what I like to do is use my I have a homemade countertop spray and I actually used it in the kids' room it's a like a thieves blend and it smells so good it kind of smells like a Christmas potpourri but I used that on the kids' dresser I also used it on Riker's crib and I used it just on the railing on Kaya's bed but just giving everything a little bit of a freshen up it wasn't too dusty or dirty it just made it smell a lot more fresh and clean in here so I highly recommend just giving everything a really good wipe down in your kids' room especially if it's just starting to smell a little stale in there no matter how many times you clean it sometimes just cleaning the actual furniture pieces and dusting off shelves etc can really make a big difference That is going to wrap it up for today's cleaning motivation video. I hope you got all of the motivation to deep clean one of the rooms in your house and freshen it up a little bit. I am so relieved that this is done. I've been putting this off for quite some time because the kids' room just gets so dang messy. It's already messy again two hours after I finished cleaning. So. If you guys liked today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, I would love if you considered subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. And I'll see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys.